Bye. So I just got the EG running and driving. I just drove it for the first time. It's running great. It's leaking a tiny bit of oil. And guess what? We've already had our first major issue. The wheel bearing is shot, boys. It, the wheel literally wobbles back and forth. When I make turns, I can hear the wheel hitting the suspension. It's so bad. So I just picked up a new wheel bearing. We're on our way home. We're gonna replace it as quickly as we possibly can today because this car needs to be running and driving in a healthy manner by Monday because we got tuning to do on Monday, boys. So real quick, plan for today, replace the wheel bearing, take the Civic out for a drive, make sure it's good to get it ready for Monday. How to replace the EG wheel bearing as fast as possible because I literally only have until we gotta be out at the shop by like 12.30 or so, one o'clock in order to get this done. So I have very little time and a lot of work to do. We gotta start by pulling this wheel off. Uh, brakes. and then just unbolting all the suspension. All right, nice. Axle nut. Everything's gonna come off the spindle and then I can remove the spindle from the vehicle. There we go. And that's it. And then we have all the parts that we need, bearing, hub, uh, and we can go out and press out the old stuff. Perfect, let's do it. I carry it like a lion carries its kill. <laughs> okay. So we're heading back out to Rudd's Racing today. Rudd's Racing is the shop that like sponsored the injector giveaway with all the merch. They're the shop that I built the new turbo kit for the EG at. They're awesome. Rudd's Racing is like the best freaking Honda performance shop in the Chicagoland area for sure. Super down to earth people. And thankfully the owner DJ was nice enough to let me come out today on a Saturday and redo this wheel bearing using his hydraulic press. Uh, so that's where we're on our way out to right now. And yeah, boys, so far so good. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna run into some kind of unexpected issue somewhere in this process. You know, maybe the new hub that I have won't be the right amount of teeth for the axles that I have. Who knows, we're gonna run into some kind of issue and it's gonna suck, I'm gonna get all stressed out, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out, and by the end of the day today, the EG is gonna have a brand new wheel bearing, and it's gonna be driving just fine. Yo, uh, okay, hydraulic uh, press. press like, oh yeah, you got all the things down there. Yeah, they just use like, pipes. literally whatever. Here's the old hub. The race of the bearing came out with the hub. Uh, thankfully, we just picked up that new hub. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this snap ring. That'll allow the bearing to be pushed out. New bearing goes in, snap ring goes in, new hub goes on. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna go do this. This is gonna be tough. So I was able to get the snap ring out with the use of an oxycetylene torch, uh, pry bar, hammer, 
and some snap ring pliers. So I've got the knuckle in the press right now. I've got some like spacers in the press and set up and ready to press the bearing out. So hopefully this goes smoothly. Uh, this is the scary part, boys. I guess pressing in the new one's probably the scary part, but next scary part. New bearing about to go in. This is how we have it rigged up. New bearing, old bearing, uh, some kind of spacer for the press to push on, and then the knuckle on a bunch of stuff. This is the scary part, boys. If I mess up, I need a new wheel bearing. not all the way in yeah take it off and then reset or put like a another just get the wood out of there because it's going to crush the wood i'm scared because it'll bottom out against that that's it bottom. you did it that was like the smoothest that's the smoothest i could have imagined this going <laughs> Yeah. That never happens. Honestly, the C-clip sucked, and then just the nerves of making sure this was going in straight. What a time to be alive, boys. The EG has a new hub and wheel bearing. Who would have ever thought? Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. All right, let's go home. Let's get this thing back in the car, and let's uh, take it around the block a little bit. Bye-bye, Reds Racing. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, Jose. Bye-bye. Awesome boys, the new hub, whatever, bearing, it's all in. Civic should be good and uh, good to go. Before I take it out for a drive, I gotta grab my laptop. You know what, I guess I'll pull the EG out right now just to get it out of the garage and get it out of the way, but I still have to grab my laptop. Laptop acquired. All right guys, so obviously I'm not a tuner. Obviously I don't really know how to tune. Uh, I, I do know what the AFRs are supposed to be while driving, roughly. And I know that the timing on this base map that I have installed in the car right now is pretty conservative. So if I just get the AFRs right while cruising, which is what I'm shooting for, I'm not trying to go fast or anything right now, then we're gonna be good to drive this car to a car meet tomorrow morning, which I'm actually gonna be taking you guys with to that car meet tomorrow morning. So let's get it fired up, let's get it warmed up. It's really freaking cold outside right now. It's like 30 something and it's raining. So let's get it fired up, let's get it warmed up and let's get plugged into the CCU. data logging i don't have my wideband uh reading into into the into Honda into the s manager software um, so i just am going to be doing a little bit of driving and then doing a little bit of changes on the laptop and then doing a little bit of driving and changes i'm going to keep this part of the video short just because again i'm not a tuner i'm not going to get into technically how i'm doing this but in the next video we will be tuning what you guys should be excited for is to see this thing freaking rolling on a fresh wheel bearing and going to car meet tomorrow morning boys because that's what i'm excited for
All right, here it is, boys. Idol is looking pretty strong. This is after just a few minutes of messing around with it. Uh, that's a little weird. It'll it'll settle back down. All right, here we go. just a few minutes of playing with it like I said so it's definitely not perfect but hopefully it's good enough to drive on oh dude perfect perfect exactly where I want it just a little bit rich Oh, dude, we are going to a car meet, boys. We are going to a car meet. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sure is. I'm talking to Kern Dog on my AirPods right now, but I'm showing the boys the freaking engine bay in the vid. They're looking at her. Dude, that motor, man. That freaking motor. That intake manifold, that fuel rail. Ugh. Wait till I put this freaking cover over the wires so that you don't see them as much. Oh, dude, it's gonna be freaking gnarly. Okay, and the turbo kit, dude, just wait till the turbo kit goes on there. Oh my god, I don't even get me started. I'll see you boys at the car meet. Speeding in a school zone. Cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> getting on it at all we're just cruising it there just taking it out basking in the sun just enjoying a sunday cars and coffee boys too loud no <laughs> no we parked next to some vets oh my god a zr1 dude we parked next to a zr1 and a c8 and some camaros Cool cars are over there. <laughs> Dude, the ZR1 is king. I know, king, I, I, know I like king, this. The ZR1 is King Daddy. I know, I like this. The that ZR1 one. is King Daddy. Gurney, say it, King Daddy. King Daddy. <laughs> he put my ugly, beat up shitbox Civic right in front of the business. I know. <laughs> and he moved it home to for you to I know. Dude, look at the gauge pot, it's literally like falling off. <laughs> Just open your hood. Should I? <laughs> I'll wait till someone asks. Hi, Karen. Hi. How you been? Good. How are you? The new job has some perks. And I was like, yeah, we're going to get there. So I was pulled over like in the next neighborhood. I could pull it too. And I like looked at it. And I was like, oh, Hold on, I kind of want to see them all. Yeah, I want to see them all too. Go for it. Yeah, but it's back. Oh, Geo's back. I can hardly Oh, that's a jelly cup. One of the boxes has red velvet donuts in it. I found it. Yeah, you found it. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Is there a. Those that know? No. What do I get? No. Can't try it. Try it. Yeah. Oh my god, that so good. <laughs> RJ, yeah. just pick a rough spot in my car and just smack it on there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like white or black? White or black? Uh, you want white ooh, or black? Ooh, ooh. Like a flexi. Do white. Okay, bet. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there, right there. Yeah, dude, just, oh, just cool cover one. that. Let's just. <laughs> Will it even cover it? Sponsored good by enough. DPS, yes. Good enough. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's perfect right there. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what rust, bro? So what rust? What rust do you what are you talking about? What <laughs> rust? There's no rust there. So much better. Yeah. She looks good. Thanks, man. Do you want to see the yes, cover? yes, I do, yes, yeah. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Woo! That is 
That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That's a nice. God damn. She out here looking real, 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 real good. I'm going about it a little bit more mature this time around. Instead of just starting it for the first time and driving it straight to the dyno on two cylinders. What are you doing? I'm being a little bit more mature about the build this time. <laughs> Last time I literally started the car for the first time and drove it to the dyno on two cylinders on a built motor and then tuned it. So we're going to go a little bit more cautious this time around. It's, so it's, it's a half set. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> RJ, no. <laughs> oh man. We gotta rebrand it, the half send. The half send. send. <laughs> Underneath yeah. it in quotations, a little bit more mature this time. Yeah, a little bit more mature this time. Oh, it's an actual C8's cool, but I gotta say, CR1, King Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Of the passenger seat. Okay. Oh. Wow, John, I didn't even know how to open it. I'm it's gonna like blue on. C8. Just press on the brake and the. Brake and then what? The brake and then the button. What? <laughs> Boys, I'm gonna C8. Thank you, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's digital? Yep. Full what? digital. <coughs> and then when you're driving normally, there's a front left and a front right camera so you don't hit your splitter. That's so cool. Give it a little beans, bro. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, give it a little beans. Can I open like exhaust valves or something? Yeah. Wow. I'll put it in somewhere. Roll down. Oh. Look at you. Wow. Look at me. Isn't that cockpit? I can see it, bro. I can see, see, see the lines on Instagram already. <laughs> Yeah, quick stab. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Isn't that cockpit insane? Mm -hmm. Like, just put your hands on the steering wheel. No, nine and three, Kearney, like race car. And then just, yeah. How does that, how does that feel? It like, feels good. Pretty nuts, right? Yeah. It's like, it's a little too big, though. Big? Yeah. Like, I don't know, I feel like I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> How'd you like it? This was very cool. Very cool interior. It's it's so driver centered that like I really like it. It like feels like an F1 style, but like I guess the closest thing I can like kind of re remind myself of is like the the Supras, like the Mach fours. You know how like they're all like kind of geared towards you and like angled towards yeah, you. Yeah, or like FD too. Yeah, yeah. FDs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Corvette did something really really good with it. These so are the best. These are the best, dude. <laughs> Do you like these? these? No, these actually, I like these ones. Do you don't like these? Do you guys jelly? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Uh-huh. This one? Yeah. Bye, Kearns. Bye, RJ. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Ah, time to go. Kearney's been in here waiting so patiently. Bye, Kearney. Bye, baby. See you later. <laughs> see you. I'll see you soon. See you soon. We gotta make another video. We're gonna start making the next video right now. Haha, -ha, Boosted John's back, baby. Anyway, boys, fun car meet, super chill. Very small, obviously, just a few cars, but super fun. Thanks to RJ for inviting us out. Uh, it was a great time. Bye, Kearney. And I'm so glad I got to bring the EG out for its first Cars and Coffee. So fun. Well, with that said, wheel bearing failed, fixed it, no issues at all the whole time. That's crazy. Uh, I mentioned on my Instagram story, I was like, I was like, do you guys ever work on cars and, and everything's just going too perfectly and you're just like waiting for something to go wrong because nothing has failed yet, nothing has given you any problems? That's how it felt to work on this car. Like I was just like, when is the problem gonna happen? And it never did. That was awesome, boys. Great weekend, dude. This car is doing awesome so far. And then we're tuning the EG, boys. That's pretty freaking gnarly. So, merch down below, link in the description. Also, it's popping up somewhere above the comment section. You see pictures of it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for all the support on the last video, on the, not the last video, the video before that and the before that. Just thank you so much for all the recent support. It's been awesome. I love that you guys love the EG. That's all I got for today. So, thank you guys for watching. And as I always say, boys, let's remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals. Bye.
Oh yeah, boogers. Don't put that in, Pasha, I swear to God. 